What's up guys? I'm Dan and I'm back with another craft brew review and today I'm coming at you with Alaskan Brewing Co. guys. We got Husky IPA uh, Mosaic India Pale Ale. So we're rolling with uh, I think what is one of their flagships. I think their Amber is their absolute flagship guys but as far as IPA goes this is their most known IPA. Um, I don't have Alaskan at the store so Last week there was one of the reps that came in from Alaskan Brewing and he did provide these samples for me. I think he gave me like four or five different beers. This is the first one I have reviewed. So hey, shout out to Alliance Beverage guys. Uh, and that is another kudos to Alaskan Brewing. So that's both of those guys. Shout out to them. They did provide this sample for me. So I'm going to crack into this, guys. I don't know anything about this. I, I know that they um, their Amber is the most well-known beer that they do provide. I don't carry any of their beers. I have heard of them, but I do not sell them. So on the bottom, this is a little bit of a red flag. Best Buy 612.19. Well, today's the 22nd of May, guys, so this is towards the end of its shelf life. And for me, I, especially when it's an IPA, I want it within the two-month range to be picky. But that's just how I am, guys. I need to have that two-month fresh. So I'm not going to overly critique this because it's not the freshest IPA I've ever had. So we're just going to not worry about that. We're going to move on, though, and go for a pour. It's going to be a really busy week, guys. I'm, I'm super busy at the store. Memorial Day weekend coming up here. Really excited to get some big business done. So... Um, right off the appearance, beautiful straw, light golden yellow going on, nice bright white fluffy head, about a finger's worth of head, very clingy to the glass. Um, I don't want to say it's quite creamy, but it's definitely a little bit compact, a little bit of a frothy look to it. Very attractive beer. This is, by the way, 7%. I don't know the IBUs, but I'm just going to go to an aroma. Sweet malt a little bit up front. Dash of alcohol, I am getting that. And there's almost like, I don't want to say like it's spicy, but there's like this little spicy um, note in there that I, I can't pinpoint what that is. Some kind of baking spice, but maybe it's just muddled, maybe it's a little bit old. But there is a little bit of that tropical fruit, mangoes, a little bit of pineapple, a little bit of that blueberry note in there with that mosaic. But it is a dash muddled. I'm just going to say I'm being biased because of the date, guys. But it is just a dash muddled, uh, bready, sweet yeastiness. A little bit of tropical fruit notes. And then a little bit of that blueberry note vibe in there. So I'm going for a cheers. This is the Alaskan Husky IPA, guys. I'm not going to lie. It's quite nice. Wow. I did not expect that. I can tell right off the bat if this was completely fresh, this would be a killer beer. Absolute killer IPA. Very balanced. Doesn't lean too far in one direction. Bitterness not overly done. It's nice on the end. Nice and tamed on the sweetness in the front end of the beer. There is a nice tropical fruit presence in this. Definitely getting like mangoes. Uh, pineapple, uh, blueberry note coming out with that mosaic hop in there, guys. It is definitely like a, a sweetness, um, kind of that berry intertwined with tropical fruit, predominantly pineapple and mangoes. A little bit of papaya, but really I'm getting like almost like a blueberry strawberry vibe on the front end. Transitions to citrus and tropical fruit after that. That's crazy. Nice lighter, medium mouthfeel. Kind of creamy, not decadent, but actually it is very creamy. Very, very um, pleasant on the mouth, honestly. It's a good balanced IPA, guys. I have nothing bad to say about this. Um, I wish the date was a little bit closer, be a little bit more fresh. That's me just nitpicking. Um, they did redo their can art because they were like a bit outdated, a little cartoony. I do enjoy what they have on the front. This is the Husky IPA. They have a Husky on the front. Um, Alaska in the background, it looks like, in the wilderness. Very cool stuff, guys. I've never had this, but I won't lie to you. I am actually impressed with this. 
it, it's a good beer. I mean, I, I can't nitpick this one, guys, besides the date. Uh, tropical fruit notes, sweet breadiness, a little bit of malt in the beginning, balanced with nice bitterness at the end. I really enjoy this. Maybe even a little bit of a lemon-lime vibe going on in here, intertwined with all of those things. Very, very good beer for what it is, guys. Um, where I stand right now, wow, I can tell if this was fresh. I'd probably rate it higher, but where it stands right now, I'm going to go 3.8 out of 5. I think I'd be over that 4 threshold if it was a tad bit more fresh, guys. It's just one of my nitpicks. I'm going to try to be as fair as I can. I'm not going to go way below that. So, hey, 3.8 out of 5, not bad. This is a well-done IPA. It gets the job done, and it is quite tasty, guys. It is what it is. I'm Dan. This is a summer review outside. I love that I have the furniture outside, guys. It is now summertime in northern Michigan, 72 degrees and sunny. I'm Dan, guys. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to be up to date with great craft brew reviews. I'm over and out. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.